Hey everyone, Sheldon from SchoolPersonalTrainer.com coming to you with another vlog. Today, again, something that's quite close to my heart because uh, I consider this vlog to be a little bit of a soapbox moment. I, I, will, I will put it out there um, because I have issue with mediocre personal trainers. Personal trainers that do the same thing day in, day out with the, uh, with the same workout with every different client uh, and, uh, and it does, it works on my nerves. And I know you shouldn't be negative and you, and you should always try and be positive when you post, but it's the kind of thing that really does my nut. Um, like just the, the industry is full with so many mediocre personal trainers uh, at best, like some people that are mediocre at best. And that, that's, that's worrying, especially when you have people that are dealing with your fitness, your health, your safety. Uh, it, it does concern me. Now, another thing that you need to, to look out for is people that claim to have qualifications that they don't. Prime example, and, and, and again, like the thing is, is it's, it's not about naming and shaming, it's, it's about uh, informing you guys. There's a guy here in Hartford that um, is a boxer size coach, so he's taught people how to uh, boxer size in a class, and he's now teaching people how to fight. And I've posted on this before, how, I don't know how someone can tell you what it feels like to be in the 12th round when, you, when you're, you're basically backed up against rope, or, or, or how they can tell you what it feels like to be kicked in the head, or how to block a certain move when they've never been in a fight before. This guy is teaching people how to fight when he's never been in a fight before. This is what you need to look for. Make sure that when you employ a personal trainer, they are qualified to uh, educate you in the field that you're looking to learn in. For example, if, you're, if uh, you're looking to lose weight, that's great, most personal trainers can help you with that, but if you wanna become more specific, kettlebell um, training is a big one. Uh, a lot of personal trainers will train people on how to use kettlebells and they'll do it badly. Make sure that the, 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 the personal trainer that you're training with has at least, at the very least, an intermediate qualification for kettlebells, um, pad work, uh, boxing, MMA conditioning, all this sort of stuff. Make sure that if you're looking at personal trainer uh, to help you with your training, make sure they have the relevant qualifications to help you with the task at hand. Also, and this is very, very important, make sure the personal trainer that trains you has insurance. A lot of personal trainers out there will train people without insurance. If they then hurt that person, not, and I'm not saying they're gonna hurt you on purpose, but accidents do happen. If you get hurt, you're not covered because a personal trainer isn't covered by insurance and it just gets very, very messy. So make sure they have the right qualifications, make sure they have insurance, and make sure that when they're training you, they know what they're doing. It's vital, it's very vital. If you guys have more information or, or want more information, sorry, or have uh, something to add to this blog, Feel free to do so. Cons uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. Uh, let me know what you think. And if you want me to uh, talk about something else or want me to write a blog about something, please get in touch and we can make it happen. Have a great day, guys. Bye.